Да, да, да. This is the bicycle I'll be using for this trip. It's just a normal mountain bike. I'm not much of a bike packer and I don't know if I'll make it cycling across 11 countries and 12 land borders in West Africa. But I'm certain that this is going to be a great adventure because It is by riding a bicycle that you learn the contours of a country best. Cycling is a great way of traveling because it's sort of fast enough to take you from point A to point B and you could easily do 100 to 150 kilometers per day while staying connected to nature. I'm starting the journey from Dakar to Lagos today. Everything is set. I'm currently in Dakar, Senegal, and uh, I'm going to ride probably 100 or 200 kilometers today. Depends on where where I get to before night falls. It I used two makeshift pinners that was big enough to accommodate everything I needed and I had three GoPro cameras to document the journey. Soon enough, I left my comfort zone and started riding south towards the Gambia. Experiencing Trans West African Road this way felt like a dream come true. I haven't been to some of these countries in West Africa before, and I knew this is going to be a lifetime opportunity to explore the vast landscape, the beauty of Africa, and connect with the people along the way. This part of Africa is known to be very safe, so I had nothing to worry about in terms of security. In Senegal, bicycles are not allowed on the highway. I used the alternative road, which was pretty smooth and traffic free. I made a pit stop at 100 kilometers and ordered a plate of Senegalese jollof for lunch. Then rode an additional 100 kilometers after lunch, making it a total of 200 kilometers ride on the first day. It's 6 o'clock in the evening. Today I started riding at 11 o'clock and now it's 6 o'clock. That means I've been riding for 7 hours. Uh, although I took, a, I took uh, an hour break for lunch before I continued. I took a break at Sally. Okay, there's a car behind me. I'm gonna stop the video. See you later. Oh, just taking a break, man. It's now easy. I spent the night in Kaolak, a commercial town in Senegal. And from Dakar to Kaolak is 200 kilometers. What's interesting here is that I checked the whole hotel in town is fully booked. I called every single hotel here and told me they don't have a room. Fortunately, I found the room for $12 in a village on the outskirts of Kaolak. My 
host was kind, friendly, hospitable, and we had a good time. I'm still in Kaolak and uh, heading to Gambia. So, just getting my bike washed, then I'll make my way to the Gambia. Lo me la capital c'est c'est la capitale de Nigeria c'est Abuja Abuja oui Abuja Après, après la Gambie, tu vas où, Edouard Gambie, Guinée. Guinée Oui. Après Guinée Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone Oui. Ok. Après Liberia. Liberia Oui. Uh -huh. um, Avec Cos. Et euh, Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire, oui. Ok. Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana. Ghana. Togo. Okay. Togo. Togo, Bénin. Bénin. Bénin, Nigeria. Wow. 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 Combien, combien de jours Ah, je ne sais pas. Tu, tu, tu sais pas. <rire> tu sais pas. Si je suis fatigué, tu, tu je vais rester euh, moins de pause. Repos. Oui, repos. C'est la, la première fois oui, C'est la première fois pour faire tout. Le tour d'Afrique. Oui, Afrique, Afrique de l'Ouest. Afrique de l'Ouest. Oui, Afrique de l'Ouest. Ok. Ah, j'ai fait. Ok. Merci beaucoup. Ok, merci. I didn't know how many days in total I was going to spend on the road. This is not a contest and I'm not riding to get home as quickly as possible. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Hein? Yes, sir. The trip is about arriving somewhere and stay until I get to know the locals and their culture. Arriving in Karang, the border town between Senegal and the Gambia, these children approached me for money. I asked them what they needed the money for and they all said to buy football. There is something about giving. It makes you feel good about yourself and provokes a sense of gratitude. They directed me to where the ball is sold and I bought them too. Joy on their faces were priceless. Instantly, I realized how little out of kindness can mean so much to people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me the Thank you. Afterward, I went through the immigration and got an AZ stamp from Senegal and an entry stamp into the Gambia. I bought a Gambian SIM card for $100 C and had it registered. However, more and more kids came to me for money. Unfortunately, as much as I wanted to help, but I couldn't help all of them. I then proceeded to the terminal in Barra and ferried to Banjo. It was a 30 minutes boat cruise with an amazing view. The ferry ticket cost $50, including my bike.
Welcome to the smallest country in mainland Africa. Welcome to the Gambia. For me, traveling is about exploring new places, the people and culture. I spent three nights in Gambia and during that period, I was fortunate to gain first-hand experience of one of their cultural display, the male circumcision ceremony. Interacting with the locals gave me a better perspective of the people. I met someone who's cycling as well and uh, he's going to tell me few things he likes about Gambia. What's your name? My name is Kausu. Kausu, good. Yeah. Tell me, what do you like about Gambia? Gambia is a uh, very peaceful country. Yeah. I've never been to another country, but, but we are here, as far as you don't, even if you don't have money, we have a sympathy for each other. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one is that's most important. I'm just, I'm going to this way. Okay. The Gambia is the smallest country in mainland Africa and almost surrounded by Senegal. In less than 50 kilometers, you can ride across the entire country at its greatest width. After crossing this English-speaking Gambia, I was back again in the French-speaking Senegal. I stopped for lunch before crossing the border to the Portuguese-speaking Guinea-Bissau, where the real adventure began. I was caught in the rain on my way and was forced to take refuge in a shelter. It didn't take long before the rhythmic tickling sound like a wonderful lullaby sedated my brain into taking a deep nap. I still woke up to the sound of the rain. I call it the shower of blessings. I got up feeling refreshed, then continued to gain a Bissau when the rain receded. Bien. Passport. Passport. There is Guinea. There is Equatorial Guinea both of which are in Africa. There is also Papua New Guinea, which is in Southeast Asia. However, none of those are the same as Guinea-Bissau. 
Welcome to the most forgotten country in Africa. Welcome to Guinea Bissau. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. as you fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay I spent three nights in Guinea-Bissau but I wasn't able to enjoy myself the way I wanted due to the language barrier. There were many times I felt completely lost. I guess that's the fun of traveling to places you are unfamiliar with the language. This is the food in Guinea-Bissau. Here you have okra. It's okra. And some vegetables, oil, red oil, palm oil, then chicken wings okay. and rice. Opera and rice. Mm. Anyway, I stayed connected very well with the locals and made some really good friends. Thanks to Google Translate. The roads that connect Guinea-Bissau and Guinea-Conakry are not of best quality, but that was one of the adventurous parts of the journey. There weren't too many vehicles on the road, which means I didn't have to look over my shoulders all the time for incoming vehicles. This road is so bad that going with bicycles is faster than going with cars. So look at that car behind me. It's gonna pass. Then I stop here to urinate. I'm going to pass him again when I finish urinating. Faster going by bike rather than going with a car. If you're coming here with a car, it's going to take you a while before you get to your destination. So rather come here with your bicycle or a motorcycle, that's the best on this road. A motorcycle, I mean like a motocross. They are right in front of me. I'm going to catch up with them. <laughs> Just holding it steady. Look at them just in front of me. On day 4, I rode 110 kilometers from Bissau to a small town called Bombadinka and slept in a basic hotel for 12,000 seconds. Awa! Awa, awa, awa! 
Making my way to Boke. Bom dia. Guineans are brought up to be nice and extra courteous to strangers. The things I witnessed on this road rekindled my faith in humanity. Like this one. Gave me water without asking for payment.
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. In this remote area of Guinea-Bissau, there are no hotels, no electricity, no GPS. All my devices were turned off and I was lost. The part two of this video is a story of how I survived three nights in the jungle of Guinea and the rest of the journey to Sierra Leone, Liberia, Ivory Coast, Ghana, Togo, Benin and Nigeria. Wow. Mm -hmm.